Today we're checking out 10 mobs that would make Minecraft more interesting. From giant phantoms to baby dragon pets, the end is the perfect place to spice up Minecraft. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we cover one of the most unique yet dangerous mobs yet to reside in the end. Now, the first mob to spice things up in the end is gonna be the Phantom Brood Mother, because if you didn't realize, this is where phantoms were originally from. When they were initially introduced in the snapshots, they spawned in in the end. The Phantom Brood Mother, though, is a gigantic phantom that will summon in baby phantoms to attack you. She'll also dive bomb you as well, so look out. Oh, gosh. If this is supposed to be one of the easier ones, we are in serious <laughs> trouble. It is huge! One hit?! You gotta be joking me! I'm glad we spawn in instantly. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... <laughs> I can't even... I can't even get a single hit on it. We're gonna have to use the bow instead. Okay, um... Uh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so you can't let the Phantom Broodmother even attack you, essentially, because if you do... Well, it's just gonna one-hit wonder you, and I'm not looking forward to that! Yikes! They just keep spawning in! I'm glad that these guys are like one hit because otherwise- Oh wait, big, big, big! Eat the beef! Eat the beef! It's got a lot of health on it too, no less. Oh my gosh. I mean, all of these guys seem to- Okay, you can go. Go. Go! Yikes! Got it! Finally! Okay, so did it drop anything special? Nope, she didn't. Just a challenge. And there's gonna be a very dangerous mob in today's video, so you thought that one was bad. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat. Number two, though, is the Dragonling. Wow, building suspense. Oh, I was gonna say longest path ever. It's actually right over here. So, the little one is an offspring of the Ender Dragon. You can tame it using, oh, Phantom Membranes, which is what we got from before. It can damage mobs using a melee attack. It will also attack with Fire Breath from time to time. Okay, well, there's some more phantom membranes just in case we need it, but let's see what this is all about before we try taming it, huh? Hi, look at him! Friendly? May- Maybe? <laughs> okay, just tame, tame. You- do you- tame? Yeah, yeah! Oh, he's a hungry boy! There we go! He's my friend now! Oh, I love him! So I guess what we can do is summon in some baddies. Oh, wow! Legit attacking with fire instantly! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! Go to town on him, son! Wow! We're going nuts! Legit just setting them all on fire! I don't even really need to do anything! Attack the babies! They're always the first to go! Yes, yes, yes. Yo, can I get another one of these things popping off or what? Let me see. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> Honey, we got two of these on backup. Okay, buddy, I'm going to have you sit put, okay? You're going to make all the other mobs too easy. Next is the glutton. Oh, they made a mob after me. Okay, let's see what this one's all about, huh? This creature eats the very land itself and is never full. If left alone, it'll mind its own business. Attack it, though, and it'll come after you. And if bitten by its galaxy mouth, it may TP you back to the overworld? Okay. Let's see what you're all about, huh? Hi. Whoa. Literal galaxy mouth. Oh, look! Hungry! Wow! We literally look like so alike. <laughs> okay, so... I guess I'm gonna attack it. Oh, he's, oh wow, ooh, nasty, nasty guy. Okay, should I let him hit me once? Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna let him attack me, see what happens to me. Take me to the overworld, take me to your leader. I guess it only happens sometimes. Yo, legit in his mouth. Yeah, we're just gonna kill him instead. And we got our hands on some cooked mutton, some steak, and some potatoes. What? One kill that drops an assortment of food it collected. Okay, well, that's all I needed for that to make sense, I suppose. We'll skip getting TP'd back. There's a lot of mobs to cover, like Enderman Prime. Ooh. Ancestors of the Enderman that we know of. Enderman Prime are very dangerous, and they'll deal higher damage and move faster than normal Endermen. They also travel in groups. Worse, they have a magnetic gaze. While not angry at you, they will force you to look at them. They drop starter pearls on death. What is that all about? Okay. So there's the, there's the Enderman Prime. Look at him over there. Danger, oh! Oh no! Oh! 
Oh man, it's legit forcing me to. Oh. Okay, put the shield on. Yikes. Oh man. Ugh. <laughs> That's the worst. Okay, well, I'm glad we we legit just respawned instantly, so it's not the end of the world by any means. I That is th rude. There's literally like a rule to not stare at people, and instead they force me to stare at them. Come on, man. Okay, so we got some starter pearls. Let me just take care of this last guy because I don't want him coming and getting me out of nowhere. Cool, we got another starter pearl. So what does it do? Oh, interesting. It'll TP you back to where you were when you threw the pearl. The moment it lands. So if I'm not mistaken then, I'm gonna use the starter pearl. Throw it as far as I can and I'm just gonna take off a bucket. And so right as it lands, hey, that's interesting. Oh, I get it. It's like the opposite of the ender pearl kind of, I suppose, right? Cause the starter pearl, ender pearl. So then in theory, I wanna try something here. This might be a tough one to time, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Down we go, and... Oh, <laughs> well, it did take me back, but I, I still died. Guys, I cannot wait for you to see the last month. And by the way, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, the sing song's gonna get you. <laughs> what is this one? It's an interdimensional little songbird. Unlike the previous things, it doesn't want to kill you. Huh, finally. <laughs> but it loves music. It likes to repeat songs it's heard from other realms. Its rendition is a little warped, but it sounds familiar. It drops a flute which will warp you to your bed when used. Ooh, that's nice. Hi. Oh. Ooh. I like this. Is this what you're Is this what you're singing to me, buddy? Look at him. Doesn't look like a bird. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. You suck. <laughs> so let's see. We just got an end flute. So if I right click, <gasps> Hey, my bed. Oh, that makes me smile. Okay, definitely quite interesting. Not gonna lie about that, but we need to get back to the end. Ooh, this one sounds very interesting. The Dark Creeper. A creeper that accidentally made its way to the end became this terrible creation. This creeper variant explodes two times bigger and quicker, and without extremely good armor, it will wipe you out. Yikes. Attacking from a distance is probably best. Okay, Dark Creeper. Hi. Oh, big boy. Big boy. I am going to attack you from a distance. Good, good. But let's see what happens if we don't attack from a distance. Come here. Come here. So what are you all about, huh? Use my shield. Okay. Oh. Well, not as bad when you use a shield. How about with no shield? Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say here. It's, it's Creepers in the end. That would be quite interesting. But apparently there's a chance that you can get gunpowder from this guy. So let's try and get some. There we go. Just dropped. Okay, so we got our hands on some dark gunpowder. Interesting. Apparently we can use it to make a deadly form of TNT. It explodes bigger and instantly. So this is how you make it. Okay, but we'll spare you some time. It's right over there. So light this off. It is legit an instantaneous explosion. And a big one at that. Nice! Now we got even more reasons to head to the end. Next is Void Slime. Void Slime. The slime is stickier than its green cousin. Gross. It will pick up any loose items on the ground. These items will be destroyed if they remain inside the slime for too long, so we're gonna need to kill it to get the items back. Good lesson here, don't litter. Okay. Hi there, Mr. Slimy Slimy. So you can... Wow! It, it picked up the beef. Yo, this man's got beef. Seriously. So, oh, it's gone. That was quick. Okay. Big boy over here. Hungry. Does it split? It splits into them too. Well, do the baby guys do the same? Nope. Okay, so it looks as though maybe only the big boy is the one we got to worry about. Ooh. And with it, we got our hands on some black slime balls. Up next for interesting mobs is the island mimic. Ooh. We're getting so close to the last one, guys. But for now, don't be deceived. This crafty creature has disguised itself as a small island. What? Really? If approached, it will start to hover over you, then crash down. The only way to kill it is with explosives. For example, get it to land on a TNT block. That should do it. 
Oh man, we gotta deal with C4 and stuff. Okay, well let's see what this thing is all about, huh? Is that? Uh -huh. Is that the mob? Oh, it is. Is it? What's it gonna do? Ooh, it's spinning. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. So, is it? Oh, he's still there. Okay. Let's um. Uh, did we get him? I think we killed him with the TNT. <laughs> oh man, I wish I'd seen that. Hold on. I want to summon in another. Let's summon in uh let's summon in two more. Oh, they're both on me at the same time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't know if I was about to fall off the edge. Oop! <laughs> Well, that one's a little difficult to mess with. Maybe if we time it right. Come on. <laughs> Not good at timing it, but I'm pretty sure it died. Ooh, and this one comes with a drop as well. And stone. I mean, it's literally made of end stone. What are you, what are you expecting? Our ninth mob to make the end more interesting is dead shot. That sounds intimidating. This battle-hardened skeleton means business. No bones about it. I'm just he comes fully equipped in netherite gear. Come again. He also has a triple shot bow that shoots three air. Well, you think? One inflicts fire, one inflicts poison, one inflicts weakness. Be, be, be preared. Be preared for this fight or he will break you. Well, wow, that's very specific language. Defeat him and you might get his bow for yourself. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Deadshot, homeboy. Wow, legit, actual three sets of arrows coming in hot. And that netherite gear. Can we fire it back at him? Let me... It's dang, it's dang. Hit it, drop, boom. I want to hit him with his own arrow. Stop backing up. Yeah, with a shield, I mean, any skeleton's not a problem. But see, if you're not careful, you can get hit with a handful of these all at once. Like, I just got hit with poison. I think I got hit with, uh, or not poison, but weakness. And I got hit with fire, certainly. Stop! Bad! Yo, he's got a lot of... He's got a lot of health, to be honest. Am I about to die? I think I'm about to die. Yeah, you suck. Get! There we go. We got him in a corner now. Yeah, now he can't move at all. Perfect! And I think... Nice! We just got the dead shot bow. Ooh. Cool! Yeah, we're shooting off three arrows at once. Not bad at all. Uh... And the most dangerous and most interesting man in the- or mob in the end. Yeah, that's the one. Ends Blight. A monster most foul, feared by all inhabitants of the end. The Blight is fast, powerful, and deadly. It starts dormant, awaiting its prey. Approach it within 40 blocks and it will awaken to hunt you. You'll know it sensed you by the activation sound it emits. If its ghostly purple flicker isn't the last thing you see, It'll surely be the gleam from the wicked sights on its arms. Wow. It's kind of scary sounding, to be honest. We're going to call it. Ooh. What is that? Is that it? Okay. Uh-huh. I don't want to, like, get... Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> oh, wow, you can see it through things. Yo, that thing is scary looking. So what do we do? What? Um... I guess we can just... Ooh! Ooh, look at it! Hideous! Oh, no! Running towards me? Ooh, yikes. Bad. Oh, my gosh! You see how much damage... Oh! You see how much damage it did to me, like, instantly? Homeboy. Homeboy. Oh, he died. <laughs> well, he's got low health, high damage. But check out this drop. Blight blade. Yo, it can't even fit in the hot bar down there. Look at that. So it's slightly stronger than the diamond sword. So talk about a serious upgrade if you get your hands on one of these in the end. It's a nice shortcut instead of worrying about netherite. So I encourage you guys to petition everything you can in order to get oh <laughs> these mobs into the end on your own. And uh, thanks for watching.